It's pretty safe to say that the lineup for next year's halftime show at the big game is star-studded. Yes. I'm talking about performers including Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, and Mary J. Blige. I am so here for it. According to an article on Vox.com, Jay-Z met with officials with hopes of change with all the social injustices that have just happened within the league. All these issues predate the new NFL Rock Nation partnership, but these issues have still led to backlash against and criticism of the New Deal, with critics focusing most of their frustration with Jay-Z. Ladies, I really want to know, has Jay-Z helped the culture, and what do you feel is the takeaway? Mm. I personally think I understand what the motivation of this was. I think it was a bigger picture of how can we make change if we're not seated at the table. And I think that was the overall desire of him partnering with the NFL was to say, you can't ask for change from people that maybe don't understand the culture or who furthermore don't know what it is we're needing, what it is we're wanting, hearing our voices. And I do believe that that's a big part of this is having, it's like you said, Jamal the intern. You needed somebody sitting at the table to say, listen, this is why we're hurt. This is what's going on yeah. here. This is what we need. This is the change we want to see. Yeah. And while I think it needs to be a lot more than a halftime show of hip hop stars, I think that the concept, the initial reasoning for him doing the deal was great. I think what happened was these deals don't happen overnight. Of course. He must have been working with them for a long time to get yeah. this deal. I think it's the timing. The timing with um, Colin Kaepernick, yeah. people kneeling, I think the timing is what really gave him the backlash mm -hmm. because people felt like, well, how's this gonna help us? Why aren't you protesting with all of us yeah. and taking a knee? We're boycotting, why are you right. partnering but with them? The monies for what Jay-Z is hoping to do will go to black communities, will go to black um, injustice groups. So I think that's it. I really think it's the timing that really messed it, messed it up for him. You know, this whole Colin Kaepernick thing, uh, I just want to remind people that Colin Kaepernick got a major deal with uh, Nike um, when all of this was happening. And not to say, also when all of this was happening, 70% of the NFL is played with black players. Right. That part. Right. And at that p certain point, too, remember we had a certain president that dusted the knee thing back yes. up. Yes, yes. And then the television, they would put the cameras on. Yes. So I'm saying all that to say, they were working behind the scenes to try yeah. to rectify. What the league did, they put in programs. Um, Different people that performed for, uh, I remember Travis Scott, when he performed, he had the league to actually donate yes. to black um, communities. They are doing black, you know, like, um, they have like mentorship programs activations, and things like that. Activations, different activations. Every player right. can put up to um, five, like, organizations on their helmet. So what I'm saying is... To bring awareness. There's this, changes they're, being they're made. They're changing. And, th and yeah. what I like is what the commissioner said. He says, we want people to tell us when we're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. My thing is, when do we start to say, okay, people gonna watch the game anyway, but let's get something out That's, of it. Yes. I think that yes. was Jay-Z's intention was, and listen, was the NFL isn't gonna go away. Let's be a part of this. Let's see real change happen from the inside with me seated at the table. Yes, and right. that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. Yeah, and you're also doing. seeing the magic behind applied pressure. That's important yeah. to see too. Applied pressure can make a difference. So don't yes. give up because something like that, when you think of America, you think of the NFL. Like you've got to just draw that correlation. All American. Football games, everything. So, I mean, the league is also going to sing the Black National Anthem, which I think is huge. 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 So we're huge. getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. And I just want to say too, this influence with having Snoop Dogg and things like that, the league needed somebody to help them, okay? Because they had put Maroon 5 and Coldplay that one year, it was a mess. Then last year, we you know, they, they, they worked with Jay-Z and it was in Miami and they put Shakira and uh, Shakira, Jay-Z. Shakira, 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 Shakira. So now it's gonna be in LA. And yes. so yes. get some LA yes. artists, but yes. you need somebody that knows these people that can say, cause they don't know, they yes. those toast men do not know what to do for Who a halftime show. Said toast. Who men? So thank you. And they're also partnering with Dr. Dre for this one to support the regional school, number one, uh, LA uh, Magnet School. I think it's good. I just want to see Miss Mary with them knee-high boots yes. girl doing this. Yes. She don't need no hateration, holleration. Uh,